Hey guys, today I'm going to make a diorama based on a photo by someone I met on Instagram, Patrick Hennessy. I absolutely love his photos, he has such a unique style and color schemes, and I really wanted to recreate this photo of his. I've linked his Instagram in the description, you should definitely go check him out. So the first challenge was to make these walls. I remember watching my dad one day make a wooden box that had this kind of a shape, and once he cut all the angles, he used some tape and kind of just rolled them together with glue to glue them in place. So that's what I did here. I then 3D printed a bunch of windows and then started covering all the walls with some joint compound. This was just to get the texture I wanted and to kind of blend everything together. I also 3D printed these radiators and started to give them a quick rust job and then some paint with my liquid latex paint peeling technique. This technique ended up working out really well for these as it just shows a lot of grit and texture. Next I wanted to recreate the part of the walls that the brick had been actually showing through from underneath and so I made these small brick pieces with foam board, started giving them a paint job with multiple layers of different shades with my sponge. And after cutting holes for them in the wall I glued them in place. Then I started to cut out different parts of the window frames where the windows would be broken. And now I'm just rusting up the main parts of the windows with some rust colored pigment powders. And then the latex paint peeling technique again. I'm using an eraser here just to get more grip on the paint. This is the first layer of paint on the walls and I'm gonna do a couple different shades again, kind of like the brick to simulate some of that different old plaster or concrete look. Here I used my airbrush just to darken everything down with a watered down black paint. This section of the wall had some peeled up green paint so I'm using my latex technique again, pinning that green paint right over it and peeling that up. Here I'm painting these sheets of tracing paper green just to simulate those tarps that were over parts of the windows. And then I added the real glass of the windows and started breaking them with this tungsten carbide tip scriber. Now onto the floor. There was a lot of tile and broken tile so I started off by cutting tons of little pieces of styrene plastic and then putting them in a tiled pattern. Then I started adding some fine tile grout, and as that dried, I took some plaster of Paris and spread it out on some wax paper. After that dried, I broke it into pieces and broke it into even smaller pieces to use as broken pieces of tile. I spread that all across the board, and after all the glue dried, I decided to paint everything a dark black, and then I dry brushed it with a lighter gray color. These are some pieces of piping to go on one of the walls and I'm dirtying it up with some brown pigment powder. I used brown and black pigment powders all over the diorama to just dirty and weather different surfaces. I then made these foam pieces and textured them with a piece of aluminum foil to be big pieces of concrete or broken pieces of wall. For this dirt, I ground some peat moss in an old coffee grinder and spread that across and then I went on to start adding all the foliage outside. These are incredible real plants that I got from dioramapressabee.com. They're in Italy, but all of their products that I've ever gotten have been such high quality and they look amazing. I wanted this piece to have light on the outside even when it's just sitting on the shelf, so I'm using these three volt LEDs again and wiring them to a small battery pack. Then I added the exterior walls for the diorama box and put the lights in. And after painting everything black on the outside, here's the finished shots.
Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out Patrick's Instagram, at Patrick Hennessy, and subscribe to my channel to see my next project. See you later.